Hi everyone, this session is to describe the study abroad program that we're going to host in Siena, Italy in 2016. This is through the political science department. A number of professors are beginning to offer these brief short-term study abroad programs and this one is going to go to Siena with me, Carolyn Forestier. Um, I've been a professor in the department for going on 12 years now and this will be the first time that I take students to Italy so it's very exciting so I want to tell you a little bit about it. Um, I chose Siena because it is an incredibly lovely medieval town uh, nestled in the heart of Tuscany. Um, Siena is an ideal location for a short-term study abroad program because um, even though it's off the beaten path, there are going to be a lot of people who do speak English there. There are certain institutes um, and political science programs uh, at a university there where the instruction is in English. So hopefully we'll be able to have contact with students that will be able to communicate with you because the program does not have a language requirement. So I think Siena will be a good choice in that respect. In addition, um, it is not, it is, it is a, it's a small city. It is not a major city, but it has uh, a train station, which means that we can basically get anywhere we want to go. And it's about an hour away from Florence, maybe about 45 minutes. We can take a bus or we can take the train and we can get to major cities that are much more crowded and quite honestly filled with tourists. Whereas Siena, Siena is also going to have a large tourist trade associated with it, but it is, um, we're going to have more of an authentic Italian feel, I think, um, in Siena. Also, too, I should mention um, the program dates are from Thursday, J June 30th to Friday, July 29th. And this is very serendipitous for us because um, the very famous horse race called the Palio is on July 2nd. It's always on July 2nd. So uh, we're going to be there and part of your orientation to the city is going to include events that are associated with the Palio. The Palio is a huge emotionally charged event. Um, it is a horse race that involves the different neighborhoods of Siena. So really history comes very much alive, that medieval history. This has been going on for centuries. And so um, as you can see, the people are just stuffed into that center square. And if you look at this first picture, this top picture, that's, that, that, that space you see in the middle, that's that space there filled with people watching this race. And we will be there for this particular event on July 2nd. It's very, very exciting. I was there um, in 1995, and it was one of the most uh, memorable Italian experiences I ever had. So I'm hoping that we can replicate that for for people who go on this trip. So, um, so in your in your planning, think that basically all of July will be spent in Italy, and it's going to have you know the Palio associated with it as well. Okay, associated with the trip is a single three credit course that all students will be required to take. Uh, it's Poly 469, Special Topics in Comparative Politics and especially Italian Politics. And what we're going to do, it's going to be a upper level political science course that concentrates on Italian politics. Uh, we're going to concentrate on parties and institutions and how governance happens in the Italian context. Uh, but we're also going to concentrate on current events like the migrant crisis and uh, ongoing economic challenges. So, um, you know, we're going to have a single textbook and actually the authors of the textbook are at the University of Siena. So I'm hoping that at least one of them will be able to come in and talk to us about, um, you know, their work and, and things like that. Uh, associated with the study abroad program is a three-day trip to Rome that's going to be covered in your program fee. We'll, we'll leave for Rome, I think, on Friday morning, and we'll come back on Sunday uh, evening. And we'll, it, it's a politically oriented trip. So we're going to go to Montecitorio, which is the seat of parliament. We'll probably see Palazzo Madama, which is like the White House where the prime minister uh, sits. And so uh, we'll, we'll probably go to the Colosseum. We'll see the Forum. We're, we're going to see, you know, the more politically inspired things that are to see in Rome. It's an incredible um, trip and it's really nice that we're going with a tour guide uh, because we'll be we'll be getting on the bus um, with someone who will show us around. There are going to be some meals that are included with this. Your accommodation is also included in the program fee but we're going to be spending that three we're going to be spending those three days in Rome and that, that'll give us a good feel for the city. We're also included in the program fee is your one day trip to Florence. Um, it's altogether possible that you'll be going back and forth to Florence. Florence is a very fun place to go. Um, again 
again, it's not far once you learn how to use that bus, and it's relatively inexpensive. And you can, um, it, it's like saying from UMBC, you can go to Washington. Uh, it's it's not far at all. So, um, but included in in the program fee is a one day guided tour of Florence. We're going to have a big day that day, and also too included in the program fee are several site visits in Siena. And Siena has a lot of historical significance. Um, the first check, for example, the first check ever written was written in Siena. I mean, you know, so we'll we'll learn a little bit about that, right? So, um, okay. So these are the trips that we'll take. Um, a lot of students want to know, like, you know, how much free time am I going to have during this month? Well, two of the weekends, and weekend for us is a very liberal term. Um, weekends start really Thursday afternoon, and we don't meet up again until Tuesday morning in class. So your, your weekends are really four days. Um, you're going to have two of them from Friday to Monday, um, and, and you'll be free to explore what you want to explore, okay? So you have uh, two of those weekends free. There's also the first weekend that you arrive. You arrive on a Thursday. The first class day isn't until Tuesday, but we're going to be, we're, we, we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We really have three good a good three or four days to get oriented to Siena. So, you know, in a way, that's also free time. You're going to have lots of time to meet each other and go out and, and have some fun. And then the first day of class will be that Tuesday morning after you get there on that Thursday. But anyway, I should mention also that the classes that you're going to have over these four Four weeks um, are going to be held on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 9 to 12. And starting at 12, you are free. It's either going to be not from 9 to 12, but it may also be from 10 to 1. Um, we have to see what time we can get that classroom. But it's going to be in the morning, okay? I mean, I, ideally, it would be from 10 to, to 1, right? So we could sleep in a little bit. And then um, lunch is, 12 o'clock is early for lunch in Italy. So maybe maybe we'll do 10 to 1. So it'll, it'll be sometime in the morning. But you're free after that. Once we're free, uh, once we're finished with class, um, you're going to, um, you know, be free. And, you know, there'll be a little bit of work associated with the class. But I'm hoping that what I can do is give you guys the syllabus and what everything that's going to be covered and there's just a sh one small book associated with the course so um, you know maybe you can get all that work done before we leave so that you have as much free time as possible we're also going to have a cultural event I think it's a cooking class actually um, we're gonna we, we have someone coming in to you know or we'll go someplace I think we're to, to, to have this cultural event and several speakers we're going to schedule but it's way too early right now to know exactly when the, that will happen but you know we're going to have like you know, a series of activities surrounding um, the program. So, uh, you know, but you're going to have a significant amount of free time for you to explore. Again, we're going to go to Rome for three days, or we're going to go to Florence for one of the days, um, but you are going to have some time to explore on your own. Like, for example, I would suggest maybe going to Venice. A trip to Venice might be nice. Um, there are some places, there's like the famous Cinque Terre, where you do this wonderful hike along um, the coast. It's just absolutely beautiful, like with the big cliffs. It's so beautiful. So there, and I'll have suggestions for you. I've spent a lot of time in Italy. I'm fairly familiar with the place. And so um, I'll be able to help advise you as to like, you know, what you might want to do in groups and or on your own or something like that. Okay. Um, the program fee is $3,384. Um, and let's go through what that includes. It includes your tuition for the three credit UMBC course. It includes accommodation in Siena and you'll have a shared apartment with a kitchen. The kitchen is important so you don't have to eat out all the time. And one of my favorite things to do when I go and uh, to foreign countries is to check out the grocery stores. I have this thing about yogurt. I don't know why. I just like looking at the different flavors they have in different countries. But um, you know, so you'll be able to go to the different uh, grocery stores around Siena and, and you know, you know, get food, maybe cook together and things like that or eat out it's it's really up to you you're free to do what you'd like to do but know that you have a kitchen if you if you want to keep it um, as, as inexpensive as possible uh, the program fee as mentioned before includes the three-day trip to Rome it includes the one uh, day trip to Florence it includes those site visits in Siena it's also going to tr include transportation to and from the airport on arrival and departure dates uh, there is going to be what we call a group flight and that group flight is going to be on a particular day it's going to probably be June 28th arriving on June 29th in Florence and uh, we'll uh, pick you up there and then on the last day of the program um, if you want to leave if you want to come back to the states on that particular day what, what, what day is that the 30th of July uh, there'll be a shuttle that'll take you back to Florence now you are free to not choose the group flight um, all you have to do is get to Siena 
um, on the 29th or the 30th of June. So, um, you know, if you want to travel before, if you want to travel after, that's totally fine. But you have to be in Siena on, on the start date um, so we, you can be oriented to the city. So, um, you know, but if you wanted to come on the group flight, there, we'll, we'll arrange a group flight that you can purchase and then, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be there with our UMBC signs to pick you up. Um, the program fee also includes insurance and support in Siena. So if something happens and you need help, um, you know, if you have to go to the doctor or something like that, um, we, you know, we have that support in Siena. And that's through IES, which is the International Education Service that we're going through. And then also, too, you have me. I'll, I'll be on site as well. So, um, you know, your program fee includes all of that. Now, what the program fee does not include um, is your airfare, passport expenses, meals, your textbook, and spending money. And I just sort of guessed as to what these might cost. I think airfare, I put $1,400, which is a, is a high amount, but I, I wanted to err on the side of caution to have you over budget than under budget. It's altogether possible you'll be able to find a ticket for half that price. I, I don't know. It depends on how you find tickets and, you know, um, maybe if you have frequent flyer miles or something like that. But, you know, I, I was just, you know, July in Italy, it's going to be a little expensive. So, so, um, you know, go ahead and budget the maximum. And if you don't use it, you can put it into your spending money, right? Um, if you don't have a passport, there are certain expenses associated with getting a passport. For your meals, I mean, you know, $500 is quite a bit. I mean, that's over $100 a week for just you to eat. And if, you know, food in Italy, I think the prices are about the equivalent of what they are here. Maybe they're even a little bit cheaper um, in Italy, but uh, we'd, we'd have to see exactly where our apartments are and what sorts of grocery stores. And, and oftentimes there are like little grocery stores, these sort of like mom and pop shops um, that will have what we need and, and stuff like that. So I, I put in $500 for meals. Certainly that's what I would budget for meals, you know, or even less. But um, okay, so there's a single textbook. I put about $50. It might even be $60, um, but you might be able to get it used for less. So um, so I put about $50. And then I put in spending money. I mean, it'll, you're going to see gorgeous shops and, and wonderful things. Um, also, too, if you go to, into Florence, there's the market there. They have, you know, wonderful leather products and textiles and just all sorts of interesting things. So, you know, to make sure that you're budgeting a little bit of spending money. And also, too, if you're going to take any of the trips, like, if, you know, you have two free weekends. If you're going to go to Venice for the weekend, of course, that's going to be, um, you know, some money. So make sure that you're budgeting that as well. So, you know, all of these extras, I think, come to about $2,600. Now, that's not including extra trips that you might take. And certainly it doesn't include before travel and after travel travel. So, you know, you have to budget for all of that. But if you're just, if you just want to do the program, come, enjoy Siena, I, I think that budgeting between 5000 and 6000 that would be safe um, for you. So that's not what, that's not what's included. Okay, so if you're interested, um, please contact me and that's my email address right there and I can send you an application. Um, we're hoping to get 10 students and uh, we'll have a great time. All right. And so contact me too if you want more information. But hopefully this gave you an overview as to what the program is about. Okay. Arrivederci.